guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be really, really, really interesting. I'm going to show you guys everything that I got from the States, which was during my honeymoon. So this is going to be a USA haul. I have all the things laid out in front of me and I have no idea where to start. I'm really excited to show you guys. It was impossible for me to like pack anything if I was going to do this haul video. So like these things have been lying on the living room floor for like the past week. And there are some um, minor things that I got like magnets which I've already pasted on my fridge. So for my clothes and my magnets, I will not be showing you guys in this video but everything else I will be showing you guys. So let's get started on this video before this video officially becomes like half an hour long. Let's start with one of the bigger items first which is my Zara boots. So I got this pair of boots from Zara when I was in New York. The weather was really really cold and it was like colder than what I imagined. My boots were just like falling apart. Like the boots that I wore to the States was the pair that I got from Europe about 3 years back. It was just not in its best condition and to walk in them every single day it was quite a torture. I mean it was comfortable. It was just not providing enough warmth especially when there was like rain on some days. So that was when I decided that I needed a new pair of boots. So I walked into Zara and I saw this beautiful pair of boots. I already wore this in the States if you guys follow my Instagram. I wore this in Philadelphia. I wore this even in Orlando. So if you guys follow my Instagram you have seen my OOTD with this pair of boots. I just love like how comfortable it is. The length is perfect, like it sits comfortably on my knee. It just made me look like taller than usual, I don't know why. It's probably because of the cutting of these boots. And it's just like so comfortable to walk in them all day. It's such a pity that I won't be able to wear them in Singapore. I love the style of it and it just goes so well with my outfits. Like be it like a dress or be it like jeans or anything. It just complemented my outfit so well. So yeah, this is the pair of Zara boots that I got even though it was pretty pricey and I won't be able to wear them in Singapore but I will definitely carry it with me overseas when I go overseas again. So yeah, that's the first pair of shoes that I got. Moving on to the next item, it's also a pair of shoes. So this is the pair of Adidas Sand Sneak that I got from the Outlet Mall in Orlando. It is everything that I've wiped in a pair of sneakers and I managed to find them in such a short span of time. Like I was telling myself, oh shit, if I couldn't find a pair of like nice sneakers that I like, how am I going to survive like 3 days of Disneyland? And the moment I touched down in Orlando, we went to the outlet immediately. This pair of sneakers immediately caught my eye. Like Adidas was the first shop that we entered when we reached the outlet mall because I was dying to buy a pair of sneakers. I just saw this on the shelf and oh my god, it was perfect. And this is the last pair in my size. This is the last pair of US6. You know how stocks are very very limited in outlet malls, especially those popular size. This pair is just so special. Look at like the logo. It's half black and half gold. It's just very unique and I don't see this in Singapore. Of course, I really wore this in Orlando. I wore this in Miami also. So yeah, this is the pair of Stan Smith that I got. Totally love it. I will definitely be wearing them in Singapore. So moving on to um, face products now. I have like a ton of face products that I got. So let's get started. Okay, so the first face product that I got is this Maru Badasku. I still have no idea how to pronounce this word anyway. So this is the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I've already like used this a million times before and I just got it because it's very affordable. It was like 7 USD. Whenever I feel that my skin is dry, I'll just like spray this. So yeah, nothing special about this. Next is this Daily Skin Health. This is from this brand called Youth to the People. This brand is not available in Singapore Sephora. So when I saw it in the US Sephora, I was so excited to try. So in this box, there is a superfood cleanser and there is a superfood moisture cream. I don't know what about this brand just attracted me so much. It's the first time that I'm actually trying this brand and it's a pro-vegan brand. I mean, product. So yeah, I'm so excited to try this and I'll let you guys know if I enjoy the product because of the fact that I Sometimes, I mean most time in Singapore, I only wear concealer out. Like even for today, I only have like concealer under my eye and I don't usually reach out for foundation in Singapore ever since the pandemic started because it's just like so suffocating for the skin. Ever since like COVID-19 happened, I only wear like concealer. That explains why my concealer ran out pretty quickly compared to my foundation. So yeah, I got three concealer during my trip. The first concealer that I got is this Milani Conceal Plus Perfect Longwear Concealer. 
I think you can find this in Singapore, but it's much more affordable if you were to get it in US. So I paid less than 10 USD for this. If you guys want to see a review on this, I will probably do this in a separate video. The next concealer that I got is from Milk Makeup. The reason why I got it was because this was on 50% plus additional 20% discount. So in other words, I only paid 11 USD for this. What a steal! I got this from Sephora in Washington DC if I remember correctly. So yeah, um, excited to try this. I hope I picked the correct shade. The next concealer that I got is from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's just so affordable and I couldn't not buy it. I really think that this is one of the better drugstore concealer. It doesn't crease on me, long wearing, and it does everything that I would want a concealer to do. So yeah. Next, I have this e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Bite Size Face Duo in Lychee. I actually got this from my friend. She asked me to get an eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. but I couldn't find it. So I found this instead and I probably just like going to give this to her as a souvenir. <laughs> and it looked really nice. Like the colour of the blush looks really really nice. It's totally something that she would wear. And even the highlight looks really beautiful. So I wanted to get this for myself but this was the last one left. So next I have this uh, Milani blush. Oh my god, look at how beautiful this shade is. This is the Floss Time Rose Rose Powder Blush. I can't wait to try this. The color looks so beautiful, even though I already have like a million blush on my vanity. Next, I bought a bronzing powder. This is also from Milani. I got this in the Sun Kiss number 2 shade. It looks perfect for my skin tone. I can't wait to try this. Surprisingly, during my trip this time, I couldn't find Physician's Formula in Target or in Walgreens anymore. No idea why. Next, I got myself this Precision Beauty Pro Tools Eyelash Color. Even though my Shu Umura Eyelash Color is still working perfectly, I just thought that I needed another one in case it breaks down. What? It's very affordable, so I just got it. Next, I have some brushes. So these brushes are from Wet n Wild, if I remember correctly. The packaging is actually really really nice, but bulky at the same time. And because of how many things I got during this trip, I had to sacrifice the packaging. So I threw away the box. I just kept the brushes. The brushes from Wet n Wild is of really really high quality. It's very 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 soft. I'm going to wash this before I use them. It comes with a sponge. The sponge is really soft also. So yeah. Also sponges. I got two from Real Tanics. This is their Miracle Complexion Sponge. Even though nowadays, I seldom reach out for sponge anymore. I just use my fingers because I'm so lazy. <laughs> but I couldn't not buy it because it's so affordable. Next, I have some Burt's Bees Lip Balm. So I got two packets of the same thing. I thought of like giving some to my friends. I just really enjoy using their lip balm. And I'll keep some for myself also since I got like eight of them. I've already opened one. So in this one box, there is vanilla bean, there is coconut pear, there is cucumber mint, and there is also Bees Wax Lip Balm. Nothing special you can find this in Singapore, but it's much more expensive in Singapore. Next, I got this NYX face powder. This is the HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. And the sad thing is, you can no longer find NYX in Singapore. They have officially left the Singapore market. So when I saw NYX in US, oh, I just realized I got a eyebrow pencil from NYX also, but it's in my pouch. So I'll probably not show you guys now because I'm so lazy to go and get it. So this is the um, powder that I got from NYX. It's just a normal translucent powder. It looks like the one that Makeup Forever has also, but this is much more affordable. So I'm just going to try it and see if it's good. Also from NYX, I got two of their makeup spray. One is in the dewy finish and one is in the matte finish. I've already tried this um, many, many times before. The previous time when I went to LA, I got like four of these because I've already finished using them. And they are so good. They are really as good as the Urban Decay All Nighter. I use both. Personally, I feel that these two really make my makeup last as long as the Urban Decay one does. And this is so much more affordable. I just got the last two on the shelf. I wanted to buy more, but I couldn't. So yeah, the next product that I got is this uh, Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. I think this is like the kind of product that will help to even out your skin tone. I got the shade 120. Not too sure if it's too light for me or too dark for me. Hopefully I picked the right shade. So it has aloe vera in it which I think is good for your skin. 
So like I mentioned just now, I don't really use foundation anymore So I thought of like picking up this kind of tinted moisturizer And the consistency is really really thin when I shake, I could really feel that It's something like a watery consistency I don't know if this product is available in Singapore but I don't know, I'll let you guys know the review after I've tried it Moving on to the next makeup product The next makeup product that I got is from BH Cosmetics This is their Hanging in Hawaii eyeshadow palette Let me show you guys how beautiful this eyeshadow palette is Look at the colour selection, it's so beautiful It has your everyday bronze Got some pink The colour selection of this palette is just like beautiful and I couldn't say no to it I love the pink and I love the glitter I really did watch some review on this palette Apparently it is very very pigmented Very excited to try this Next, this product is really random It is this OPI nail polish that I got I was just like strolling in uh, TJ Maxx, it's a departmental store in the US Target used to be my favourite store but I think now my favourite store is TJ Maxx <laughs> I mean I love both but TJ Maxx is just another level I saw this nail polish and it's like so affordable I think it's probably like 3 or 4 USD And this colour is just so beautiful I really tried this shade on my mom, it looks really really nice Okay, next I have this Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water If you guys watch my video all this time, you will know that my favourite micellar water is from Bioderma But after I tried the travel size one, I realised that this is actually comparable to the Bioderma one It doesn't really irritate my skin as well, so I just decided to get a full size one Since it's so affordable in the US Last few facial products that I have, I think, are these two CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser that I got I've been dying to try their facial cleanser because like so many beauty influencers have raved about this cleanser They all say that it is so gentle on the skin, doesn't like dry out the skin So this product claims to cleanse, hydrate and help to restore the protective skin barrier with 3 essential ceramides and hydronolic acid Very excited to try this, so I'll probably be sharing this with Sean because <laughs> I'm so greedy, I got the bigger size So this is the value size and it was only like 14 USD This is 16 fluid ounces which translates to 473 ml I think this will probably last both me and Sean for like months So yeah, I'll be sharing this cleanser with Sean And if you guys want a review on this cleanser, I'll probably do it in a separate video Very 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 excited to try this because I finally found this after so long Last facial product I think This is the Peter Thomas Mask to the max! So this is the value box that they have during uh, the holiday season It's totally amazing This is actually worth 170 USD But I only paid 58 USD for this Wow! Like anyone who uses masks would know about Peter Thomas masks They are amazing I love it so much I always buy from Singapore Sephora And it's so pricey And when I saw this at 58 USD How could I say no? So there are 4 uh, masks inside in total There is the water drench one There is the 24k gold mask There is the pumpkin enzyme mask There is the cucumber gel mask So this is the 4 piece mask that I totally love So I'm just going to take out one to show you guys It is not the sample size This is a uh, 50ml which is 1.7 fluid ounces And this will probably last me for months And I'm so excited to use them They will give me such beautiful skin if you guys want to in that review of this product, just let me know in the comments down below Next, moving on to some body care products I got like a few Bath & Body Works shower gel I know it's super lame to like buy these kind of products and bring all the way back to Singapore But I couldn't resist because it's so affordable This was like 4 USD for one And in Singapore, it's like 10 over dollars So I got one in the Twinkly Midnight and I got another one in the Twisted Peppermint And I got another one in this Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow Oh my god, I'm so excited to use them I love 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 their shower gel because they all smell so amazing And yeah, these are the three that I bought I also got a lotion from them because it's also very affordable So the lotion that I got is the Twinkly Midnight Sky Usually I don't use this range of body lotion from Bath & Body Works Because I prefer the Aromatherapy collection it is not so uh, tacky and sticky after I apply it But this is just so affordable and I thought of like trying them So yeah, I just got one to try The next body product that I have is this This is the Burt's Bees Body Lotion It is for dry skin I only got it because like my skin was super dry in the States I mean, my skin is really not so dry in Singapore But I just saw it and I decided to buy it It's the first time that I tried Burt's Bees Body Lotion Not sure if it's good but I'll let you guys know if you guys are interested So yep, this is the body lotion from Burt's Bees 
Okay, and the next few um, body products are these. These are definitely one of my favorite purchases from my trade. So this is the the Keys Salt Scrub. This is not available in the other parts of US, I think. I got this in Florida during our road trip to the Key West. Such a little bit uh, story time. When Sean and I were doing like road trip in Key West, we stopped by this restaurant called uh, Mrs. Max, which is along like the Key Lago area. I went to the bathroom to wash my hand, and they have this like tiny tray with salt scrub, and there's like this sticker that says Transform your skin in 60 seconds My hand was just so dry because of like our stay in New York I just decided to try it because it says Transform your skin in 60 seconds, I was so amazed So I decided to try it and after I scrub for like 60 seconds and I wash it off Oh my god, it's really like so magical, you have no idea My skin was instantly like transformed in the sense that it was so soft, it was so smooth It was just unbelievable, oh my god, I wish I could show you guys like how smooth my hand was at that moment At that instant, I was just so mind blown at the scrub Because personally, I've used like so many scrubs in the market But nothing compared to this, this is really like magical, I don't know what's inside but it's just magic <laughs> so this is made in the florida keys it is locally owned and operated i bought two in the key lime scent so you know like key lime is a big thing in the key west and i got another one in um coconut so the coconut was the one that i tried in the toilet so i really love the scent but sean prefers the key lime one on the same day i was sharing with sean like how magical this scrub is and i told him you have to go to the toilet just to use the scrub he was also like so amazed what's so magical about this scrub is that after you wash your scrub off it just feels like you have applied a layer of hand lotion onto your hand. I'm not kidding, it's that amazing. Usually like scrub tends to like dry out your skin because it kind of like exfoliates the dead skin from your skin. But this scrub is just like out of this world. It felt like a layer of moisture barrier has just been, I mean, applied onto your hand like somehow. It's just so amazing and the moment I got back home, I told my mom, you have to try this. So I've already opened this um, coconut scrub. Let me just show you guys how it looks like inside. Oh my god, it smells so good. So this is how it looks like inside. It's quite wet and watery, so I don't want it to spill. I got this as souvenir to give to our relatives. I mean, I really wish I could buy more, but because of the fact that it is so bulky and so difficult to bring, I could only buy this. So my friends, if you ever come to my house, please ask me to show you guys this magical scrub. It is really out of this world, like the best scrub hands down I've ever used. Imagine I apply all this to my body. My whole body will be like so moisturized. There's this like tiny map of the Key West. Oh my god, I miss this place so much. It's just amazing. This is made in Florida Keys, which is why it's very difficult to find it anywhere else in the States. Not sure if you can find it other places, but you can try. Okay, moving on to um, some hair products that I got. Um, I got this Miracle... Oh, Moisture Miracle. This is from African Pride. It strengthens and protects your hair with 5 essential oils. I just decided to buy it because I've heard so much about castor oil and it's quite difficult to find in Singapore. I don't know, I didn't really try to find it but when I saw castor oil, I just decided to buy it. So I've been using it for the past few days. It makes my hair like slightly oily. It's an oil obviously, but I don't know, I've been enjoying it so far. So yeah. And the next hair product that I got is this. This is the L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free Color Care System Moisture Shampoo. L'Oreal hair products is quite pricey in Singapore, I would say. Like it costs $18 if you were to get it in Guardian, but I only paid like 8 USD for this, so I just decided to buy it. And next, I have some earrings from Kate Speed. So these are also from the Outlet Mall. This few pairs of earrings are so beautiful. Actually, I'm not a huge fan of Kate Speed. I don't ever like buy anything from them. I only went to the store because I needed to find something for my friend, but in the end, I got something for myself. <laughs> I mean, I tried very hard to find the things that she wanted, but I even asked like the store assistant, but they don't have it. Ended up, I did some shopping for myself. So this is the pair of earrings that I got. It is so beautiful. Like It looks something like the pair from Bulgari, but the pair from Bulgari cost like 1000 over. I don't know, it just looks so elegant and it's just not the kind of earrings that look cheap, you know. And I wore this to Disneyland that day. It looks so beautiful. Let me show you guys the next pair. Okay, the next pair that I got is um, slightly simpler. It's just like a spade shape. And I'm probably going to give this to my best friend. And next, I have another one. This is the last pair that I got, which is also really, really, really beautiful. And I love it. I haven't got the chance to wear it yet, but 
it's so beautiful. Love it! Okay, next. Moving on to some lame souvenirs that I got. So like I mentioned just now, I'm a huge magnet collector. Like the moment I reach home, the first thing that I have to find in my luggage was the magnet. I got one magnet from each city, but they're already on my fridge, so I'm so lazy to wear. I also got some short glasses from New York. These two designs that I picked are so cute. It has like the Statue of Liberty on it and the Brooklyn Bridge. So when I have friends over, we tend to drink like hard liquor or like soju. So all these will come in really really handy. I have a few more from Europe currently but these are from US and I don't know, I just love it so much. Then this is another design. It has the yellow color cap on it, subway. I don't know, it's just so cute, I love it. Then I also got this cup. It has Times Square, Manhattan. I miss New York so much. This is actually for our new house. Just FYI, Sean and I will be getting our house next year. So excited. I've already pictured like a corner of the house in the kitchen. I will have this where to next with all the souvenir cards that we get from all over the world excited to collect more cards so when guests come over to our house I'll ask them so which city would you like to go? and I will give them the card that they choose it's going to be so funny all these moments make life so interesting and next are some like lame souvenir things that I got from my friends or like my family I don't know so these are um, coasters, there are 6 of them in different designs I'll probably like keep 1 or 2 for myself because I don't know, I love New York and I got one magnet, I haven't thought of like who to give yet. This is the extra magnet that I got. I've really like pasted my New York magnet onto my fridge. And I just got another one because I know some of my friends also collect magnets. Last few items, I got this Adidas beanie for my friend because like she's heading to London. Just thought that the weather now would be nice to have a beanie. And I felt like this beanie will really go very well on her, so I decided to buy it for her. The last item finally, this video is gonna be like a million years long. The last item that I got from US is actually my Dior shades. I really did an unboxing on my Instagram. So in case you haven't watched my unboxing video on my Instagram story, I'll quickly show you guys now. This is such a beautiful pair of shades from Dior. If you guys didn't know, I love, 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 love Dior shades. This is just another pair of Dior shades because I need to protect my eyes in case um, I get any wrinkles. So. <laughs> The moment I saw this, I was like, oh my god, I need to get it. Look at the details of these sunglasses. It's so beautiful. It just made me look so nice and it complemented my face shape so, so well. Personally, I can never get those like um, rectangular glasses because my face structures are very sharp. So I like to go for this type of glasses and say, oh my god, it looks so nice on me. I love it. So it says um, CD at the side. Can you guys see it? And it also says like CD over here. Is it obvious on my camera? Can you guys see it? So yeah, I love this shade. Oh my god, so beautiful. Yeah, this is the pair of Dior shades that I got. Totally love it. And the lens changes color also. Like it's of different tone if you see it. Not sure if it's obvious on the camera. It's just so beautiful. Look at the details. It's perfect. Oh my god, it looks so expensive. I mean, it is expensive. Perfect, I love it. So yeah, that concludes all the things that I got from New York. I hope I didn't miss out anything. If you guys have any questions or any particular products that you would like me to review, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching as usual and remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!